cats. <laughs> what are you doing here on the moon? Uh, we're on the moon? Uh, Lampo, why didn't you tell me? Uh, There's no air on the moon. <gasps> I can't breathe. <laughs> <gasps> Meepo, don't be silly. We're not on the moon. We're not? Uh, then uh, is it Mars? No. no. It's, it's Earth. Earth. I'm sorry, Cosmo. Oh, it's my dream to go to the moon and Mars. Oh, and today is my birthday. Oh. But Astro Cats are not supposed to cry, right? But, but, but I'm not an Astro Cat. I'll never walk on the moon or see the moon monster or make a Martian friend. Oh. And I'll never get to eat a... A space potato! A space potato? Mm. It's what all the Martians eat. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I've got to restart my spaceship! <laughs> I'm never gonna make it! Buffy Cats, I've got an idea! We'll send Cosmo to the moon and Mars. That's too dangerous. No. Milady, I promise it'll be totally safe. And the greatest birthday present ever! Shh, come on. Oh, it's useless. It'll never work. Well, Cosmo, we've got a big secret for you. We have a spaceship. You do? Uh, yeah. Happy birthday, Cosmo. You're going to the moon and Mars. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> um, that looks like a trash can. Exactly! We designed it so no one would know it's a spaceship. Oh! I promise I won't tell anyone. Good! Now hop in, Astro Cat! Uh, wait! How do I steer it? It steers itself! It's got a robot brain. Whoa! The spaceship's <laughs> robot brain can talk to you through this walkie-talkie. You have to do whatever I tell you to do. Yes, sir! Showtime! Whoa! So high tech! Now, it's time to call Cosmo. Hello, Cosmo. I am the spaceship. Wow! Uh, do you have a name? A name? Uh, 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 uh. Captain Belly Button? <laughs> uh, that's the coolest name ever! Get ready for takeoff. <gasps> Ten, nine, eight. And then? And then? Seven, seven, six times seven is forty-two, plus two makes four, and lift off! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the moon. Wow! Have we arrived already? Wow! I see the Earth! I didn't know the Earth had ears. Okay, I'm going to explore. Wait! <laughs> Don't move. Don't even breathe. <laughs> Remember, the moon doesn't have much gravity. Be careful, you will be very light here. Whoa! Whoa. Ah. Moon monster alert! <laughs> the moon 
monster. Oh, it's more horrible than I ever could have imagined. Cosmo, we have to go. Oh, oh, but we just got here. Yes, and now we're going to Mars. Mars? This is Cosmo, expedition leader. Do you copy, astronauts? This is Lampo, loud and clear. This is Milady. What's the plan? Charge the home base of the alien squids on planet Meow! You'll never stop us, Earthlings! And you'll never hold out against our lasers, alien squids! Let's go! I'm coming! Uh. <laughs> oh, the Earthling has a wind demagnetizer! <laughs> we can't withstand airflow of this magnitude! Yes, the wind demagnetizer worked! <laughs> Alien base is now under our control. Yeah! Hooray! Victory! And Planet Meow has fallen into our paws. <laughs> Playing space battles is the most awesome game of all. We'll be your crew for the rescue mission. <laughs> possum, Lampo. But how do we find the asteroid? First, you'll reach the Galileo Starbase with this ship. Look. The Galileo has very powerful sensors. They'll show you the exact position of the asteroid. Cosmo, use this astro control to open the Galileo hatch. The code is red, green, yellow, blue, pink. Red, green, yellow, blue, pink. I'll remember that. We're passing the moon! Wow, so tasty. Looks like cheese. Astrocats, we have reached the Galileo Starbase. It's so awesome! <gasps> oh, wow, it's like a giant vacuum cleaner. But there's no one here. Right, m'lady. Because in a starbase, everything is automated. Oh. Oh, okay, but I can't open the door. Don't worry, Meatball. I know the code. Green, yellow, red, blue, pink. Huh? <laughs> hmm, strange. I'm sure it was the right code. Hmm, let's try pink, Blue, yellow, red, green. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now I got it. Red, green, yellow, blue, pink. That was easy. Wasn't it, Buffy Cats? <sighs> sure, Cosmo. <laughs> Cosmo? <laughs> Buffy Cats. You got my call for help. Hey, Astrocat, what's up? I was traveling through space when my ship had a system failure. Something hit me, and I landed on a small but dangerous asteroid. It freezes everything that touches it. <gasps> I'll send you my coordinates so you can come help me. Mm-hmm. All right, I have them memorized. Astrocat? Here we come! <laughs> These single-seater ships are super fast! Follow me! This way! <laughs> uh, no! <laughs> this way! Follow me! Huh? <laughs> 
Astro Cat's coordinate sequence has been completed. There's the frozen asteroid. My furry fellows, I'm so happy you came to save me. I'm going in for a closer look, so we can figure out how to get you off that asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> But how do you move in space? You can use my space propellers! Ha! But these look like hair dryers. They're space propellers, Pilu. Here's the ice that's trapped Astrocat's ship. Ooh. Don't touch it, Cosmo! Oh, no! Cosmo forgot that the asteroid freezes everything that touches it. Freeing Cosmo and the ship won't be easy without touching the ice ourselves. I've got a buffy brainstorm. We'll melt the ice with these hair dry... I mean, these space propellers! <laughs> Thank you, my furry fellows. But my spaceship won't start. There must be a problem with the engine. Hmm. Hey! My space potato! <laughs> That's where she ended up. <coughs> you did it, Cosmo. It's working again. <laughs> you were catastic. I'll never be able to repay you. Don't say that. We might need your help someday. Good point, Pilu. We'll be furry fellows forever. See you soon. Back to Planet Mia. Bye-bye, Astronaut. Our Buffy space mission was a success. And he gave me a Buffy brainstorm for a possum new song. <laughs> but I... 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 Uh... <sighs> I lost my space propeller. 